What you've just seen is a car stopping itself before hitting an obstacle. It's thanks to a system called Front Assist, and it's fitted as standard to almost every new car currently on sale. Basically what you've got here at the front of the car is a radar scanner and a high definition camera. Both of these sensors constantly monitor the road in front of your car, and they can tell if there's something or someone you're about to hit. This is really clever stuff, and it's working away in the background as you drive. To put it at its simplest, the camera watches the road ahead and can tell when there's something in front of you. The radar can tell what the distance to that object is and whether or not your closing speed is too fast. Now, if the computer decides that you're probably going to hit it if you don't take any action, then first it'll sound an alert and flash a warning. And if you see this and still don't take prompt action, it'll then actually apply the brakes and perform an emergency stop. Of course, it's not infallible. The job of front assist is to warn, to stop, and to mitigate. Now that word mitigate is pretty crucial here, as it doesn't guarantee that it will be able to stop before a collision occurs. But it should be able to slow the car down enough to mitigate how hard that collision is. That can be a literal lifesaver, turning a massive crash into a minor bump. The EU estimates that road accidents cost us 130 billion euros annually. So there's money to be saved as well as lives. Can you imagine pulling out of your driveway in the morning or starting to cross the road as a pedestrian and knowing that every other car around you had this system? Imagine how much safer you'd feel. Now, front assist can be interrupted by sensors that are obscured or blocked. So it's a good idea to make sure that your car is completely clean and free of things like leaves or caked on mud here on the radar sensor or up there on the camera. Now, occasionally, really bad weather can interrupt how front assist functions. And if it does so, you'll get a warning on the dashboard. It's not a fault as such, but it's just a reminder that the car isn't going to do the braking for you, and so you need to be a little bit more vigilant. As with any of these high-tech assistance systems, it's there to help, not to take over. It can be even more helpful than just slamming on the brakes. Today, we're driving a Skoda, and it's equipped with a really clever front assist system that also works on the steering. So when we're coming up to an obstacle on the road, it can not only warn you, it can not only slow you down, but it can also actually help you with emergency steering inputs to swerve you away from danger. On this Skoda, the braking part of front assist works at speeds of up to 150 kilometers per hour. The pedestrian and cyclist detection system works at speeds between five kilometers and 85 kilometers an hour, while the collision avoidance steering works at speeds of above 30 kilometers an hour and up to 150 kilometers per hour. There's another system which activates when you turn on the indicator to turn right across a junction and it will detect if you're accidentally going to pull into the path of an oncoming car. It'll break your car to a halt and switch on the hazard lights. It's good to know there's an electronic guardian angel backing you up and more importantly, backing up the drivers of other cars around you, isn't it?